And what our campaign is about is changing national priorities. 12 News at 10 is back with Decision 2020, the race for the Democratic nomination, now essentially down to a two-man race. One of them was in town tonight. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders held a rally at the Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Phoenix. That is the same place that President Trump held a Keep America Great rally just a few weeks ago. Team 12's Michael Dowden is live at the Coliseum for us. And, and Michael, you were also at the President Trump rally. How was this one different? Well, I mean, both of them were allowed in a rally. However, this one was a little bit smaller, probably filled about three-fifths of the crowd, while President Trump's was pretty much to capacity. However, that didn't stop the people who were there from being very energetic and supporting their candidate for president. Senator Bernie Sanders in the Valley for the first time in 2020. Surrounded by thousands of supporters and a few protesters. I think that gentleman is also outnumbered here today. For the most part, though, support seemed almost unanimous as Sanders brought out his hits from health care. Health care is a human right. To education. We need to make public colleges and universities tuition free. But with just 12 days before Arizonans go to the polls for a lot of the speech, Sanders focused on the differences between him and Joe Biden, especially when it came to Bernie's donors and Biden's billionaire backers. This is a campaign of the working class, by the working class, and for the working class. But the main target of the night, whether it was crime, education, or climate change, Sanders was focused on the president. Our great genius president thinks that climate change is a hoax. Well, I happen to think that Donald Trump is a hoax. The night was full of chants and cheers, while Sanders left his supporters with a message of change. Let us defeat Donald Trump. Let us transform this country. Thank you. Now, today we saw Elizabeth Warren drop out of the race, really leaving just Joe Biden and Senator Sanders left here. And you actually saw a little bit of a movement from Senator Sanders to try and get some of that support, first calling the senator a friend and then welcoming any of her supporters with open arms. But the question is, will any of her supporters actually go to his sides and will it be enough to really make a difference throughout the rest of this primary season? Guys, we're live in Phoenix. Michael Doudna. 12 news. Okay, Michael, thanks. And remember, Arizona's Democratic primary is coming up in less than two weeks on March 17th. Two days before that, the remaining Democratic candidates will be here in the Valley. The debate will be at the Arizona Federal Theater in downtown Phoenix at 6 o'clock. And for more information on all the big events happening around the Valley, don't worry, 12 News has you covered. You can find all the details you need on the 12 News app. It is free in your app store.